Hi, the writers. I am back again to talk to you about acrostic poems. So this week we have been studying um, different types of poems. And this poem you found when you did your notice and wonder activity back on our first day of poetry. Uh, it's a poem called Baseball. And if you notice the letters in the word baseball are written down the page and they're more bolded. Right? And so every letter in the word baseball is its own line in this poem. So it says, bats crack as they collide with the ball. Athletes sprint as they strive to give all. Spectators cheer to pick up the pace, eager to urge runners round the base. Base is all touched as he sprints to home plate. A catcher determined to change the game's fate. Look to the crowd as they scream out his name love for the team and a love for the game. I love that one. Um, that's a fun baseball poem and every letter in the word baseball is inspiration for the next line. This was actually a, a rhyming poem too. Okay, but not all acrostics will rhyme. It's up to you. So um, in my class, we made acrostic poems at the start of the year. Every child put their name down the page. This is our friend, Emma. And then she thought about a word for every letter in her name. So she has expert, magnificent, mindful, athletic. Okay, so you could think of just a word for every letter or like a more of a sentence. So one thing you might do to get started is to think of an object. So I recently went to the beach and I collected some shells. And I really love seashells, so I thought they could be a fun poem to write about. Um, so I put shells in the middle here of a circle, and then I thought about words that connected to shells on the beach. I like to have a collection of shells. You find them by the ocean. The air is salty. There's lots of sand. Shells are home for, for different kinds of fish. Um, it could be a souvenir, like when you go on a trip and you bring something home, that's called a souvenir. So shells are kind of like my souvenir from the beach. Um, I feel like, you know, shells are hidden in the sand sometimes, or different animals can hide in them. They're kind of mysterious because they've been around for so long. They can feel smooth on your skin when you touch them. And their colors are kind of like pastel, pretty light colors. So that got my brain thinking about shells. Okay, and then I put the word shells down the page. S-H-E-L-L-S. -L -L -S. And I had to think about each letter as inspiration for the next line in my poem. So I wrote whole lines, mostly. I said, sandy seashore treasure, hidden home, eggshell color, pale pink or lightest blue, long ago secrets inside, love to look back at my summer collection, souvenir of summers gone by. Okay, so that was my poem about shells. So here's the steps for you to make your own acrostic poem. First, you wanna think about an object that's meaningful for you. It could be a family member, a hobby, color, place, feeling, pet. There are so many choices, right? So many different things we could pick. Okay, and just like I did that brainstorming page where I had shells in the middle and then all the words around it, you can do that too. You could do that on a piece of paper, or if you want to use a Google Doc, um, or any other type of app you like, but it could just be on a piece of paper too. Think about all the words that you can connect to that object, okay? And then you're going to, on the Google Doc that your teacher shares with you over here, you're going to type the letters down. So let's say that I wanted to write about ballet as my next acrostic. I would make the B, the A, the L, the L, E, the T, right? And then I would have to go back for every line to think about what I want to say about it, right? Or let's say that I wanted to write about a s'more. So I'm thinking about how we like to have s'mores in the summer. Notice how I put the letters going down the page and then each letter is inspiration for the next thing I'm going to write, okay? So that's the paper you're going to write it on. Then you're going to think about a letter for every, a word or phrase for every letter that you picked. 
You'll read your poem over and make sure your ideas go together. And so if you were writing about um, school, then you wouldn't want to maybe have the beach in there, right? Because it doesn't go together. You want to have your ideas connect to your object. You want to check your spelling. And then if you like, you can find an image that matches your poem, like the way I did here in my Bunsy for shells. I added some pictures in. You can do that if you like. And then send it to your teacher or submit it to your teacher so she can take a look at the amazing poem that you made. You might want to make a few acrostics. They're really fun to do. Okay, can't wait to see what you come up with.